uh, check your settings. Uh, go to uh, Zoom and then uh, click on your um, your microphone settings. Uh, I'll check mine real quick here. Uh, let's see here. Video looks good. Microphone, you can hear me. Um, audio settings. Boom, skip, boom. Looking at my audio settings. My mic is working. My, my speaker is working. That means that I think my stuff is set up properly. My friend, uh, you would want to go to see the headphones will the headphones will um, sometimes create confusion and uh, get the the wiring and device settings and stuff. Um, no, I can't hear you. No, nope. Uh, so can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. Oh, shit. Not getting it. Um, all right, so so um, go to your go to your microphone settings and, and try to um, try to uh, select the the proper device. Unplug your headphones. No ski. Darn. Strange. Uh, can you hear me? No. Uh, Noah, can you hear me? For God's sake, I have tried both computer mic and studio mic. Uh, can you hear me? No? Odd. A A A A A Check. Got it. Yes, I can. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. 
So that's just using my computer audio, I think. And that I just went back into the meeting where it just says uh, join. I still can't hear you though. Test one, two, check. Can you hear me? Settings. Same as system. Oh, here, let's try this. Oh, there we go. I think I can hear you now. Testing, checking, testing one, two, three. What have you okay. been for the last 20 years? <laughs> same mic. The same mic I had 20 years ago, right? Here. I, I recognize it. Holy shit. This is the it's same just, mic I was using. This the is the same mic. It's mic just sit, it's oh. sitting in a cupboard with about 120 other ones. But this is, <laughs> I kid you not, I kid you not, this is still like one of my top five fave mics. What, what's the brand again? Uh, it's, it's the Electro Voice. Uh, Electro. 70, yeah, ND767. They don't make them anymore. Yeah. Wow. They make, they make a, a, re a reiteration of this, a newer version right. of that same idea, but not, not as cool as the old ones. Um, yeah. All right. Well, cool, man. Um, this is fun. Um, yeah. Uh, let's uh, uh, catch up for a minute. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I just saw your note about Evernote, so I was just getting into that. Um, and I'll okay. upload this. Okay. So, yeah. all right. All right. So, did you do you have um, do you have the Evernote master template? I do not. Um, well, let's change that. Hang on, buddy. Um, I'm logged in, I think. Yeah. Come on. Oh, here it is. 90 day digital. Do you have the new, that's interesting. Do you have the new updated course? I mean, it's been so long. I don't think you even have the no, new. No, I have, I have, uh, yeah, whatever I got from you. Yeah, 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, I still man. have the book, but uh, yeah. Man. Um, and the season, yeah. Um, what's going on here? This is try free. All right, click, uh, all right, so. That's actually a little bit of a challenge because I really want you to get on the inside of the new system. Uh, are you telling me that you have DVDs? Uh, I have CDs, I think. Man, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'll send you a link, give you a deal, um, and uh, we'll worry about that later. But I would like you okay. to get into the system, but uh, that's okay. Okay, we'll work with it, no problem. All right, um, where are you located right now? I'm in Aberdeen. Washington? Yep. Okay. All right, what's going on? Send me, send me the link of this new band, please. Oh, I, so that's, that's next. <laughs> change, it, change of plans. Um, just creative differences. They were there a little bit too, like, uh, just too straight up rock for me. But, uh, so I think what I want to do now is, is if possible, I want to get working on like the song I'd like to do for a demo. Uh, it's some Mars Volta. Um, and, uh, it's a very difficult song. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's a cool yeah. singer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to upload this. Where, where do I put this here? Um, Notebooks. Uh, um, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be Noah. It wouldn't be in that Evernote. That Evernote um, is global for everybody. Like on right. short notice, kind of like this. I uh, let me let me let me check. I don't know. Let me check and see if I have an Evernote for you. It's possible. Uh, your last name is not Lyndon. No. Okay. Let's see how this works. Shimony. I don't, man, okay. this is like, this even predates my Evernote uh, innovation. Yeah. yeah, this was, so I just, let's see. Can this work? I want you to have that though. Hang on. Uh, let there me. I just posted I, it in the chat there. Hang on, bud. Yeah, that's fine. I want, I'm going to duplicate this note. Duplicate note. Duplicated the note, and I'm going to call this 
NOAA note. Okay, NOAA note. So kill the other one because I don't want you. I don't want you writing in notes and Got it. On, okay. So we have NOAA note. Now. Boom, 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 boom. Forget that other one. Here you go. With no note. Just, all right, good. It's a nice, it's got a nice 90 day outline, the warm ups and things. Okay, right. so you have some direction on where you're going and what you're doing. Okay, all right, cool. Now, let's listen to the song. I know you, uh, I get the sense that you probably want to just dive right into this, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, but all right. Have you warmed up? Uh, yep. Yeah, you, you did? Doing? All right. Okay. So <laughs> uh, I'm downloading here. All right. Let me stand up. Yeah. All right. So what is your intent right now, Noah? Are you... Are you going to warm up? Are you going to train? You're on your feet. That's great. Are you ready to go? I'm just curious. What is it that you, what is it that you wanting to? What do you want to work on right um, now? Well, there's a there's a section to the song. He does it twice. Yeah, the song where where he is bridging, and it's and and he immediately jumps into the chorus. And there and and like I've been trying to sing this song for like ten years. <laughs> And like basically, I mean, basically since I started training with you and and I've, I've reached the point where my voice, I mean, you told me when I got into my 30s, I'd be able to sing a lot more shit than I was before. And you're right. You were absolutely right. But uh, this song still challenges me in a lot of ways that other songs don't. So I I'd, I'd just like to get your take on it and and how it's fitting with my voice. He's a very different singer. You know, he's he's just. You know, he's got a. But, yeah, you recognize that. I was going to jump in and say that I don't want to make excuses for us in a way, but but there's. <laughs> It's a little, but, you know, part a little of this for me, yeah, part of this for me is an exercise in trying to find my own voice. It's like, uh, it, you know, I, I think I'd like to do my own version of this. I know I don't sound like him, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but I know I can hit the notes and uh, I just need to. Yeah, that that's kind of what I would like to work with you through it, basically. And, and okay. you know, what you're hearing, what you think would sound good, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm sorry about the light in my back. I had to kind of block windows and stuff uh no know. that's fine all right all right so um mm -hmm. i'm 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 got this file here so do you want to play it through your thing and i'll yeah i need I so it. if you want to sing right now the way to do it is to accompany yourself you need to play the file there locally and then okay. sing it there locally it it kind of it doesn't work when you're singing over the wire over the over the yeah. network. Okay. I hear you. Um, Playing this way, right? Let's do it this way, okay? And this starts with the vocals, so I don't have a great cue for the entrance, but okay. Way it goes. Uh, it'll play. I don't know why it's not playing. Wow. Um, it's not getting any sound. Uh, settings.
why would this have worked before? And that's very strange. Um, well, here, here's what I'll do. See if I can just. Okay, I'm waiting. I don't know why, but something about Zoom, I think, is making it so I can't play. Dude. Uh I can't play anything else. I don't I don't know what's going on here. Um uh, kind of not. Um well, okay. All right, so um Noah. Yeah. Uh, Play the music through a device that is separated from yeah. computer technology. So that would mean good old fashioned ghetto blaster sitting in the corner. Seriously, you know, if you can, or or running on you know the stereo system or something like that. That so that because what happens is when people try to pipe, they try to pipe Leiden music into the computer system that's running zoom right. and at the time you're doing a video call it gets that. bose headphone cancellation problems and it gets weird and it just gets really confusing so separate yeah. the two technologies i don't have so i'm just gonna play it on my phone i don't have a good way to um you know okay that's, that's fine we'll, we'll work with it that's fine um yeah. unless you you could consider plugging your phone if you can, you can plug in with an eight inch jack and then out to. Uh, uh, I don't have to it's I don't want to. Yeah, I don't yep. think you can do that. Hassle. Yeah. OK, yeah. All right, let's go. Yep. All, right. All right. He's got fast in black lungs. Made of close splintered shots. They're the kind that will talk through a wheezing of calm. And I hear him every night and every poor and every time it just makes me. Let me hide, cause I'll never, Go on. never sleep alone. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hey. Look at how they flock to him. Like an owl of open sword. Do it. He, yeah. Time out, man. Time out. Um, okay. So I want you to go into your settings in, in your audio settings in Zoom and change. No, no, it's canceling. It's pushing back. Okay. And, and, and when you when you get went to the high stuff, it pushed back and, and, and muffled you. It's just okay. uh, it's a noise cancellation setting. It's a simple thing. So look, go to um, microphone, yep. open up, go to audio settings. OK, scroll yep. down and you'll see. You see uh, um, four buttons, um, background noise suppression. Do you see that? Background noise yeah. suppression. Oh, okay. uh, turn that off or low. Uh, put it on low. Yeah, OK. There you go. That, so that way, when you bridge the passaggio, get in your head voice, it won't, it won't cut you out. Okay. All it. right, but hey, time out. Now listen, the chest voice stuff that I heard that didn't cancel out, it's pretty. It's pretty, pretty voice. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you been singing? Have you have you been singing? Have you been gigging? Have you been? I haven't been gigging. I've basically just been practicing on my own for a long time. You know, uh, yeah. singing in the car, singing in my room, singing when I'm not going to annoy people by doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Lovely voice. Okay, let's go ahead. Take it from top now. Let's let's just okay. do it again. 
Um, and just FYI, I cannot hear the music. Yeah, I understand. It's all right. He's got fast in black lung made of clove splintered shards. They're the kind that will talk through a wheezing of calls. And I hear him every night in every pour and every time it just makes me warm free without an answer free from all the shame let me hide cause i'll never never sleep alone cool time out time out nice job yeah, you probably uh, see what the hard part is. It's that. <laughs> yeah, with a C sharp, a uh, C five. But and yet, but it was connected. Okay, it was. Yeah. Connected. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do that, but yeah. Well, you know, you lose control at that top, you know, and then I immediately have to jump into C C without an answer, and it 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 just gets really muddy, you know. Um, here, let me sing that part for you, and and I'll, maybe you can get. You can, I can okay, look, listen, listen, yeah. listen. You're not trying to do the C five and the C sharp five. You are, all right. And it's important that you are clear on that. Okay. Yeah. I, so okay. if you don't think you're doing something when you're actually doing something, we have a problem. We're not making progress. Okay. So 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 I don't. You know me. I don't sugarcoat shit. So yeah. it, I, um, now, is it a little bit erratic? Is it a little bit, you know, is it on perfect pitch? No. Is it perfectly in timing? No. Could we drop the larynx and color it maybe a little bit? Uh, yes. Uh, it's it's not mind blowing, but but the yeah. fundamentals are there. I, I I just I'm just trying to compliment you. I thought the compression was pretty decent, and especially for um, these guys, Mars, yada yada, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, like he's got that sort of that squealy voice, so it's it's kind of working. Yeah. Now, please show me what you want to show me again. I thought it was okay. The low notes, the, the chest voice, low note stuff, bluesy feeling. It's got mojo. It's nice. Um, I want you to apply more cry mode, though. Noah. What? Cry mode. Cry mode. Cry vocal okay. mode. Yeah. Now, that that has been with me for quite a long time. It's a super big deal. It's critical. Um, it's physical vocal mode stuff where we configure we knowingly conscientiously configure the larynx and the vocal folds into exotic position to help us sing better that much i think you're familiar with we've talked about physical modes like twanging okay yeah, and yeah. Oh, okay okay being sort of aware being able to manipulate the mechanism okay yeah so we have we have one that's the most important really that i think came after the er, the early young Noah years, okay. That was is called cry vocal mode. Does it sound familiar to you? Uh, it's not really ringing a bell, no. Gosh, it's it's been yeah. so long. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to explain this to you because because if, if you get this in this one lesson, instantly it's going to sound better. Okay. Yeah. Instantly, problems are going to go away. Okay. I'm listening. I'm the wizard. I know what's going on. All right. So let me help you with this. Let me grab my vocal folds. These are my vocal folds. Okay. They're kind of like vocal folds. They're membranes and they, they elongate, they shorten and stuff. Okay. So, um, uh, the voice, the human, the, 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 the human voice has evolved to to be able to make a sound that is high in frequency and amplified, right? Yeah. Um, for the purpose of emergencies. Case in point, babies. 
when they shit their diaper or they need help, what do they do? They cry super high and loud. And when you cry yeah. super high and loud, it gets people's attention. Okay? Um, and uh, it's literally the human siren instinct. Okay? Now, cry vocal mode is the physical configuration of the mechanism in the vocal folds that 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 allows us to amplify high frequencies at loud db levels without injuring ourselves so when we're in cry vocal mode the physical traits of cry vocal mode we can sing high like mars volta we can be amplified like mars volta like jeff tate like rob halford any of these guys and not hurt ourselves Sounds sounds interesting, doesn't it? We, that sounds good. Keep going. All right, great. So what if I were to take the cry vocal mode physical position and instead of using it for crying because I shit my diaper or whatever that situation might be, instead of using it for that, what if I use that same configuration and applied it towards singing? Would it allow me to sing high notes amplified without hurting and choking? The answer is yes, profoundly yes. In a way that will blow your mind, Noah. Okay, real quick. When we're going to cry mode, the vocal folds elongate. They elongate. They, they, they stretch out. Okay, I'm way oversimplifying, but they elongate. And when the vocal folds elongate, where's my, here it is. A couple things happen, and then we'll get to it. When the vocal folds elongate, what happens to the compression of the vocal folds on this pin as it elongates? As it elongates, what happens to the compression on this pin? Gets more, like tighter. Increases, that's right. Yeah. Increases. And then as I relax the vocal folds out of cry mode, compression decreases. Mm -hmm. right? You tell me, you've had voice lessons before, is good command and control a vocal adduction and compression a good thing for singers oh yeah <laughs> yeah so, so cry mode number one gives us great compression uh number two when we go into this position the point that i made previously is 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 it removes all pharyngeal constriction it removes all constriction and all chokiness and pushiness mm -hmm. through the vocal break and into the high voice does, as a singer, somebody who's spent 30 years doing this, does that sound interesting? Yeah, I think that would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. That does? Yeah. I'm Now I'm really listening. I'm really leaning for it. Yeah. One more thing. One more thing. The third thing that Crybo does is when the vocal folds are in this elongated position, they will make a different sound color. So you, you change the, you change the, you change the, the filter system, you change the mechanism, it's right. going to be a different kind of sound, right? Whatever, like you're stretching a rubber band or a, or a balloon. Okay. So it's going to make a different sound. The sound color that comes from elongated vocal folds, which we're going to call cry mode, is an ancient, ancient instinctive thing that, that, that uh, in primates and human beings have heard for years. And here's what it does. On a subconscious level, on a subconscious level, when you make sound through elongated vocal folds, it says to the listener, it says to the recipient, amplified emotion. Amplified emotion. Now, you might think, because we call it cry mode, you might think that means amplified emotion of sadness. And it could be, but, that's, but it's important to understand that it's not just that. It could be happiness, could be mystery, could be... And the whatever the lyrics or the story of the song are indicating is what it does. Okay, so that's a great thing. Better compression, pushing goes away, and the sound color is what people want to hear from singers. Now you're thinking, how do I do it? What I want you to do is is I want you to you're gonna you're gonna put your larynx into cry mode. The first thing I want you to do is practice just Arbitrary you may have never done this before. It's a little weird. It's actually easy to do, but it's weird to understand. It takes about five minutes to get it, okay? In the shower, in the car, you're going to practice this. Trust me. Nothing will transform your voice more than what I'm telling you right now, man. Okay, I'm so 
This is not the coach that you had when you were a kid. Okay. That was a good coach, but this is all the whole different league. All right. So now, um, what I want you to do is we, it's in the, it's a new program. It's called the three step vocal cry mode workflow game. Okay. The three step vocal cry mode workflow game. Step one. I think we, we worked with workflows. I think we were doing workflows back in the day. I do believe. Maybe. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, if we weren't doing workflows, that would be really old. Okay. We're going to workflow. Yeah. Sequence. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Step one, I'm going to speak to you in, 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 in speech mode. It's pretty simple. I've been doing it for right. five minutes. Step two, I'm going to put my voice into cry mode. So it'll sound like I'm, I'm talking to you. But it'll be talk, it'll be sound like I'm talking to you like I'm really sad. So this is step two. Hey, hi, hey, okay, okay. I'm Coach Robert here with my old ancient student Noah Martin. We used to train together years ago, and and at the moment I'm getting him updated on a very important physical mode position. It's called cry vocal mode. You can hear me. Sound it sounds like I'm sort of whimpery. Sounds like you know, like my girl just broke up with me, or I'm about ready to cry, or I've been crying. Like yeah. you get this sort of sound going, okay? And while I'm doing this, I also want you to be very conscientious of what it feels like. There's a little contraction, there's a little bit of movement, things that happen with the mechanism when you talk like this, okay? It's always been there. You never noticed it. Now you're noticing it because I'm telling you to to notice it, okay? This is step. Okay. Three. Sound like a fool. Step yeah. three. <laughs> You hold that position and you get up to a high G. Go through the passage, I'll go to a high G. So we get step one, okay. The, my name is Robert, I'm voice coach, I'm here with Noah. All right, step two, step two. I'm 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 in cry mode, but I'm still speaking to you now while holding this position. I will siren up to the G. Me Me This, 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 this body language just means cry. Yeah. I can't say it when I'm doing it. So if you see me yeah. doing this, it means cry, 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 cry. All right. Now, the other, some, some tricks to this. The higher you go, the harder you. Okay. So you're going to cry into the note. And let me tell you something. All of, this isn't just a cool idea that some people choose to do. They all great singers are doing this. It's not like vibrato. I got a choice. All great singers do this okay and for sure the mars volta guy is doing this for sure okay he's a perfect example of doing it hardcore all right so i want you to try this three-step vocal cry mode workflow game i'll cue you and okay. i step so speech mode then speech mode embarrass yourself and talk like you're like you've been crying or whatever and then then while holding that holding that position you're going to siren up to the g4 okay okay and and, and notice how easy it is now stand up straight yep so I'm just I'm speaking to you in my speaking voice right now. This is the number one thing in the workflow. We're going to be just speaking and, and doing some talking and, you know, just speaking in my speaking voice right now. Yep, Check yep. Say anything. It doesn't matter. Yep. All right. It doesn't really matter two. what I'm saying. I'm just going to keep talking until you tell me what to, like, move on to the number two. And I'm just going to do this and not really know why, how I can do the crying mode, but I'm going to try and do the crying mode. <laughs> And so that's it. That's it. Really pull. Really pull on it. That's it. Elongate my larynx. Or just try and get a feel for what that feels like. Oh, try and feel more compression. Try my crying mode, and I can't. Uh, uh you're voice and the sound at all was all actually fine the what wasn't good was your workout had didn't have discipline to it it's all messy and all over the place okay it's so, okay we're going to try it again stand up straight when i give you a g4 have command and control over the note go to the g4 don't go all over the place go straight to the g4 now watch me do it again all right, my name is Coach Robert here. I'm with my ancient student, Noah Martin. I'm in speech mode. We're going to do the, the, the three-step vocal crime vocal game. 
set no alarm in speech mode. Step number two, I'm in mean, cry mode. I'm sound like a goddamn fool, but I'm in mean, cry mode. And I'm going to keep myself in something in the head goes, uh, you know G4 is always a good place to go, so you know that GM4. So here's my G4, and all of a sudden, look at G4, hold this position, hold this cry position into the side, into the G4. No! Cry into the note. Cry into the note. And the higher you go, the harder you cry. Do it again, Noah. Here we go, buddy. Ready? And uh, Here's my speaking voice. I'm speaking. This is the first step. I'm just doing my speaking voice. We're just doing the normal talking and just continuously speaking and whatever comes to mind. And I just have my cry voice here right now. I'm trying to get a feel for what that feels like. It's my number two crying voice. Time out. Time out. Time out. I want to tell you, you're getting it. Conceptually, you're getting it. This is the idea. But when you get to part two, don't just kind of do enough to get by. I know I'm supposed to sound like I'm crying and put in a little bit of cry mode, but I'm not going to go too far because it's a little embarrassing. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm now in cry mode and I'm really pulling. I'm really feeling that, that, that position. Lean into it. Give it all you got. <laughs> okay, ready? And. Here's my speaking voice. I'm just doing my speaking voice, but I'm getting ready to cry really hard when I gets to number two. Right now I'm doing my number one speaking voice and I'm just waiting for the cue to get to number two and I just had it. I don't know why I did this. I'm just pulling my help and trying to do what I can to get the cry voice going. Back to a G4. I, and I'm going to so No. That is not cry mode. You know it's not cry mode because it sounds hollery it sounds shouty in like yeah. your mind. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of belty, yeah right yeah okay listen listen oh, oh, oh. it's hard for me to do it oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. that's hollering okay this is crew this is this is there's no thinning. My vocal folds are not thinning out. Uh -huh. That's why the, it looks like I'm in pain, and I am. Okay, and it <laughs> sounds like shit. All right, now watch. Same note. Same note. And all of, I'm just being conscious of doing that. It's something I've done before. It's the second thing I did in life. It's know that. So it's something we know how to do. You just gotta learn how to do it in a different context, which is the weird thing. Okay, watch me. Hollering. That's hollering. That sucks. Cry bug. Yeah. I feel nothing but beauty. Nothing but freedom. I feel nothing there. When I was hollering, my vocal folds aren't thinned out and they're sort of thick and bulky. It's all grabby as it should be. When the, thin, when the vocal folds are thinned out, it's literally think about yoga. When the vocal folds are thinned out, they're, they're, they're nimble, yeah. they're flexing. And I can hold that position and it, it literally, I feel nothing and it sounds pretty decent. Okay, do it again, please. This is my number one speaking voice. I'm just doing the speaking voice at number one, check one, two, continuing to talk until I get the level two speaking voice and trying to stretch oh. out my vocal folds, pulling really hard, just trying to do what I can to keep control of my uh, That had a little bit more cry in it, just a little bit, okay? Just a touch more. The other thing that we need to do here, Noah, is we need to, we need to shape your embouchure. Tongue, teeth, lip straw, how this is all shaped, okay? 
All right. So yeah, that's it. Now that please, th I mean, that's not new to you. You know the. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I, was like, no I was being lazy. You, you caught me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So horizontal orientation. Uh huh. You're dropping your jaw too much on that. You're you're on that top G. Uh huh. The cry isn't coming through as well as it could because you're dropping your jaw too much. Okay, watch okay. me. Look, look. Yeah! 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 You see, it's sort of horizontal. It's not the. It's not this. Yeah! It's hard. It's hard to get anchored into cry uh -huh. mode when you drop your jaw. Right. So, okay. tongue forward. I hope this isn't new to you. Tip of the uh -huh. tongue. Tip, okay, yeah, leverage the tongue. Okay, yeah. leverage the tongue. Okay, good. Tip of the tongue against the back of your bottom teeth. Right. Okay. All right, great, good. We learned something back in the day. <laughs> Tip of the tongue against the back bottom teeth. Horizontal yeah. ampusha. And, and give me a yay on the G. Watch me. Yay! And cry into it. Don't shout. Yay! Oh. Well done. That sounds a lot better. I, you might not hear it from in there but that was you don't think i hear it doing this for 30 years i hear it i hear every single movement of every micro frequency pretty much damn near i can hear it uh that's what you're paying for is these ears really that was pretty good it wasn't fully cry but it was like 70 percent there all right nicely done Get it all cleaned up. Tongue forward against back bottom teeth. Give me a horizontal embouchure and give me a big yay again and hold it. Yay! Oh. Yeah. The longer you hold it, uh, here's sort of one thing that's happening, and it happens, everybody does this when they're learning. Out of the gates, off the blocks, it gets, boom, configured perfectly. Like, it's, it's typically the case. Boom, perfect. And then, about five seconds into it, the configuration begins to, 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 to relax. Unconsciously. It begins to Relax, vocal folds start coming back really slow. They start getting bulky and bulky again. They start they start receding and sitting back into a speech-like thick position. It, that's it's just its natural default position. You know, it doesn't know any better, right? So you need to be aware of that. So that when you're when, when I'm when I'm holding a a, a cry mode position on a high note, I'm very very conscious that I need to hold what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling in here, I need to hold it. And then that's part of the athleticism behind this, by the way, is having the strength to hold the thing for eight seconds or hold that position as I articulate lyrics through it until I can breathe again for the next verse. That's part of the athleticism behind this, is holding this. It's very, very physical. G-sharp. Yeah! I'm holding this exotic position. If I if I take my eye off the ball, yeah! It starts squirreling and melting down. All right, give me a G sharp, please. Horizontal, a super amplitude, monsieur. Super amplitude, monsieur. Super amplitude. Tongue leveraging, cry vocal mode, hold that position. Yay! 
I did. Start yeah. dropping it. You. you notice yeah, that when yeah. you drop your jaw, it starts getting shouty. Totally. Yeah. And not only that, when it gets shouty, when it starts getting shouty, it gets choky. You start. Yeah. You, start, yeah. you yeah. feel the constriction just starting to creep in a little bit. All right, do it again. Keep it loose. Hold the position. Isolate. Now listen, this is an A, this is A4. Hey, listen, A4, I think we did this. We, A4, at A4, we have another formant shift. We have, a, it's like a second passaggio. Remember, yeah. A4 so is sort of a special yep. note. Yep. So you're going to tune your vowel a little bit, tune your vowel. So if our vowel right now is, it really should be A, we haven't been really disciplined about that. Um, tune in a little bit of ah, just not too much, don't go too far. Just a little, just a pinch of at ishness, ants in my pants. Just a little bit of ants in my pants at A4. And what will happen is the resonance will shift, the format will shift just enough that it'll stop grabbing you. That, that's your vowel modification piece at A4 and above. Okay. Plus the physical mode position. Ready? Here we are. Let's show you this to me real quick. Yeah! It's got a little more at in it. Your turn. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I just. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm like excited to practice this because. Shit. It's, yeah, it's, man. So, the, so when you get into Mars World, you can see you get you're going to be conscious of holding that position yeah. as you sing through it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, it, notice that there's two big things happening here that you have to keep your mind on. Uh, nothing's changed. It's always been that way. Um, there's an acoustic concern, the vowel, the resonance, and then there's a physical right. concern, the, 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 the mechanism in the mode. All right. So cry mode, elongated vocal fold position combined with the proper resonance tuning gives you what you want. You can't have great cry mode and a really shitty vowel and expect to get everything you want right. you can't have a really perfect vowel and a really shitty mechanism position and for sure not expect to get what you want okay make sense they work yeah, together sure. they work together and actually the voice follows the vowel so think hear the vowel and the voice and then cry hear the vowel and cry into it okay hear the vowel and cry into it ready ready Yay! Wow. I told you. I wasn't shitting you. I, I wasn't lying when I said what I'm about ready to tell you will we'll knock your socks off. Dude, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go out to YouTube, type in Robert lunty performances go watch some of the newer stuff i think i've always been a decent singer but go out there there's some dream theater out there there's some really cool gnarly really difficult stuff out there and it's because of cry mode yeah okay here we go okay okay it, it was it was tell me why tell me why what have you learned why was that that was, I didn't think about it. It was like, just slip. Yeah. Yeah. Just no, but break it. No, no. Unravel yeah. it. Break it down so that you have, so you can learn. Why? So I, you, you told me I need to think about the vowel and, and, uh, and, and the, the, the voice, the, the physical element follows that. And that was, I, I put the car before the horse. And Great. Yeah. All right. Good, good answer. Visualize the vowel and let the, let the mechanism follow right now that's great answer i want to add a little bit of um some practical stuff there too okay you're dropping your jaw too much and you got to fix your own sure it's yeah. good when you drop your jaw it gets like your it starts turning into your sort of hollering okay <gasps> oh it's just like a big yeah get your own sure in a high performance position now look at you this time you're going to do it again with the same yeah. energy, we'll do the uh, we'll do a B flat four. 
Okay, no problem. And you're going to hear the vowel. The vowel is a ishness with a little bit of ants in your pants. Okay. Yeah. You're going to hear that. Uh, you're going to cry like mad into it. As you're going higher, you're going to cry even harder. Okay. Um, and what? And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to put your eyes on the Zoom monitor. You're going to watch yourself in the monitor, and what you're going to look at is your embouchure. Okay. Okay. You, screening. You should be practicing when you can. You should be practicing this stuff at least spending a little bit of time in the mirror. Right. Students of technique need mirrors. Why? Primarily to look at the embouchure. All right. So you have a mirror. It's called the zoom monitor, and just keep it right here, and and then and then feel it. Just don't move it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I didn't get the cry voice there. Um, Excuse me. Um, and you need to. Your jaw's going down too much. Uh -huh. I got there. Do it again. Yeah. In this moment, I'm mostly concerned about your embouchure. Your cry and everything is okay. Uh, right now, I want your embouchure to get cleaned up. Okay. Yay! Great. Now, let's put that on the move. That's a good onset. Do we agree? It's pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. Good onset. Now, let's put that on the on move. Yeah! Yeah! Here you go. Ready? configuration don't let anything go you're doing great Yay! good job on that top that top c5 uh tune in a little bit more at in it yeah! Yeah! a little more at You hear how it got high. it brought in some higher frequencies that tuned it yeah. up. You hear that? Do it again. Yeah. It felt fuller. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> uh, I, I turn the valve. Turn the valve. More at. Ah, more at ah in the valve. Uh, you you tuned it. You tuned it. Just. What's that? You, on on the um, on the high C, you you added yeah. ah. Look, it's a dial. It's a dial. Just now you're on the C sharp. Just one more. A little bit more. Yeah. Yay! I give to the. <laughs> I give to the. <laughs> cry vocal mode. With good visualization and good vowels. Want to try a song? Why don't you, why don't you bust through yeah, it? Right? Let's see what happens. Let's try it. All right. I have it on my phone. Somewhere. Uh, oh, I'll just I'll just do it a cappella. <laughs> um. He's got fast in black lung, made of cold splintered shot. Step back so I can okay. see. 
They're the kind that will talk through a wheezing of cough. And I hear him every night on every poor and every time it just makes me what was that was, why did you why did you shit out like that it was I felt the the connection wasn't quite there i was too i was too much like stuck in chest voice like i, I like i it started to tighten no you weren't yeah. no you weren't you weren't stuck in chest voice you're so far from chest voice it sounds ridiculous you know <laughs> all right let me try that again chest voice stops at e4 yeah it was like a d5 or something you're fine all right you hard on yourself it was it wasn't perfect but it was like a B plus, it was okay. Do um, uh, a couple bars before that high part. Let's do it again, and don't don't be so hard on yourself. <clears throat> every night, in every pour, and every time, it just makes me want free without an answer, free without yeah, free. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. it. That's it. Uh, That's it. Let me, yeah. We, I mean, we basically. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and just that, just that last bridge part. Okay. And, and every time it just makes me wild, free without an answer, free. Shame. Yeah, man. Because I'll never, never sleep alone. Um, how are we doing? I think you're doing good. All right. Yeah, I think that I think that sounded a lot better than the beginning of the hour. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I'm I'm excited to practice that cry voice. Like that's that's a big. It's a game changer. You're right. It, it it sounds louder in here. Yeah, it is because it is. It's more than just that. It's it's better. Comp remember, I mean, be a little scientific about it. You, you you'll you'll get you'll get more retention and more outcome from it if you're if you, you meditate and learn the science a little bit. Okay, it will then it will then work better for you okay because the mind takes that in you're getting better vocal fold compression you're removing constriction and uh as far as pop and rock music is concerned that 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 cry sound color that comes from vocal fold configurations like that from a thinned out position is pleasant to the ear people want to hear that and <clears throat> okay that's it yeah that's it it'd be the best best 350 you've ever spent i'm telling you if you do that in the shower in the car and you practice and you just learn how to turn it on and off and work on on any song it could be you too it could be anything 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 with great singing is has to have thin out vocal folds it has to be it's not a choice okay uh, now, you might have something like, oh, I don't know, like the singer for Accept or whatever. It's not cry mud. It still sounds cool, but he's hurting his voice. Yeah. Okay? So, I, you know, you know me. We're talking about Rob Halford, Mars Volta, Dream Theater, people, right. Steve Perry, great, true great singers. They're they're thinning the vocal folds. They're in deep cry mode. On top of that, that's, that's like 40%. The other 40% is the vowel. The, the resonance, okay, and then the remaining 20% is all the other stuff. Embouchure, dampen the larynx, get your eyes off your shoestrings, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, thanks. That, that's uh, that's exactly what, yeah, that's what I was looking at. I mean, just, just freaking, I needed a kick in the ass about... The, the reminders on the, the just the like the way I was I was uh, forming the vowels 
and yeah, the jaw is the big one. That was a problem back back when I was like 15 too. It was the jaw. I, I remember that. So I don't. I guess I let bad habits kind of kick back in there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not just 15 year old Noah. It's, it's everybody yeah. knows that. You just you know uh, holding your arm with sugar in this position right here is not a natural thing to do unless you're a TBS. Right. You, know, you know, it's <clears throat> that's the other thing that was getting you know the few times the few things that were sort of getting in your way from it being yet even better was um, you were dropping your jaw. You got to stop doing yeah. that. If you want the cry to work, if you want this other stuff to work, you have to enable it by giving it a horizontal, uh, by not dropping the job. <clears throat> All right. Great. Yeah, that's, that's something I'm going to work on. <clears throat> um, when am I going to see you again? <clears throat> So you, you sent me this thing about like uh, your your like circle of, of vocalists. Let me see what it was. Yeah, what yeah, we have. Um, it's it's an it's an hour a month on a Saturday morning. It's a sort of an open ended Q and A with Coach Rob. We uh -huh. get a Zoom call. It's a class of typically a class of like for, anywhere from like four to six people, and then <clears throat> people will take turns and we'll 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 coach through. A lot of cry mode, frankly, and in onsets and doing sirens, and you can kind of, you know, watch your your colleagues get trained, and you get you get the benefit of watching me coach other people, and then you get a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I might I might sign up for that. Um, that that seemed like kind of what yeah what I I mean I really needed I needed a one on one hour with you just as I'm like kind of figuring yeah getting getting back out there with with other bands um, and yeah just to just to keep keep up i mean i think i'm going to purchase your uh your new system sounds like there have been some developments Let me and you. uh and yeah, yeah. That's awesome dude there's the back on it hey I, there's the four pillars of singing which is the the one you're familiar with i all, think that's what i got yep it is what you got all updated okay killer yeah. hell. and then i made another one called belting in the head voice that was the that was only about three years ago and it's 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 even more mature you know and, yeah. and more seasoned as a coach and it has all the cry has everything in there and so i have a bundled package uh let me give you a link for that <clears throat> it's really cool and in fact i i owe i promised you a little deal so let me let me go let me grab the deal the special deal um link okay okay yeah sounds good i like deals <laughs> well you're old school this is the old school deal for 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 people that own the old the old original little black book do you have the little black book i do i could Probably find oh, it. Oh, that's amazing. Show show that. Show me that. Show it. Show it. Oh, Probably somewhere. The little tiny, the very first edition. Somewhere on my birth shelf. Um, or it's in my box of books. Well, if you get it, if you find it, send me, send me a picture. All right. I'll send you a picture. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going out here. We're going to the. Hang on. <clears throat> All right, Noah, here you go. I'm giving you a really good deal. Uh, this is usually $329 for both of these courses. It's a bundled package for both of them in a new system. Um, and then this is a, this, uh, if you look at the linky here in Zoom, this is for $49, which is more than 50%. It's like 60% off. Okay. Uh, look, 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 look at the Zoom chat. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... You seen that? Yeah. So uh, that gets you to both courses. Awesome. 
It's cool as shit, dude. It's really neat. Um, yeah, and I think you need it. I think you need it. Um, so it's got training pages and, and videos of me demonstrating everything, of course. And it's killer. All right. Oh, got it. All right. <laughs> it, one more thing. One more thing, because he asked yeah. for. There's the link to the Saturday group. Yeah. Let me get that too. And I guess I'll drop these into the NOAA note as well, just so that I don't lose them. <clears throat> Where's the NOAA note? Give me the NOAA note. NOAA note. NOAA, the NOAA note. Down here, um, on your note, on your Evernote that I gave you, underneath observ um, observations and homework, are the links to the bundle deal and the, uh, the Q and A, in case you, I don't know. Awesome. Where, so how does the Evernote thing work? I'm, I'm trying to, so I should have received. I've never used Evernote before. <laughs> um, um, it's it's what it's, it's browser based. You just click on it and it opens a browser. Yeah. So I'm in my my like Evernote account right now. I don't know. Okay, then click on the link, the Evernote link that I gave you oh, okay. in Zoom chat. I gave you a link in Zoom chat at the beginning of our lesson. Here it is again. Oh, there we go. And and this has links in it for 90-day training that when you click on the link, if you buy the courses and you're logged in, if you click on the link in the 90-day training template, it takes you right to the workout. So it's it's synced up with the new courses. Got it. So it's easy to it's easy to get to the workouts, including cry mode, the onset sirens, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Perfect. All right, cool. I got it now. Set up. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I think hey. you sound good. Don't be too hard on yourself. You sound better than you. You're not giving yourself enough credit. I think it's. I think you're. I think you got a good, strong voice up there. Uh, just get it tuned up and a little stronger from the techniques. You'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. I like to challenge myself too. That's part of it. It's just, <laughs> I don't choose easy songs. I think I was doing like Gethsemane, like last last time. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that way too. I'm that way too. Okay. Um, great. I hope to see you again soon. Let me know. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Robert. Well, good evening. Great weekend.